Okay, I have been asked the question how the rake actually sweeps the height and kind of the whole function of it. I'll try to explain all that as best I can, but first off, there's a few components. The main part of the gearbox right here is the four to one, which does four complete rotations per cycle. And that rod coming off it goes up here to this right here, which when it sweeps catches on the hook right here. The hook raises and lowers to get out of the way when it doesn't need to grab. So that actually comes forward several times during the cycle. And the first time it comes forward, the hook is up out of the way. So the rake will not sweep. And then once the deck comes up, the hook drops and on the next pass, it catches the rake which sweeps. And then when it comes back up the third time, it releases just enough the hook comes out of the way and then the rake won't sweep again. And then, well, let me just show you. Let me show you the four to one first. One, two, when it sweeps, releases, three, and four. So every time the machine cycles, you have four cycles of that. Now the rake itself, when it was a Model A pin setter, this is the shotgun. There is only a single rod there back when it first came out. And whenever the ball hit the cushion, it triggered the clutch and then the rake would drop when it follows the cam, which is right here. There's two cams. This is one that hasn't been used since it was a Model A. So it's just kind of there, has no purpose. This one is the rake. And then this one is for the scissors for when you have the deck shifting and the scissors and all that operation. But this middle one is the one for the rake height. And you see it's got the roller connected to that, which goes to the shotgun. And up here, there's a very fine gap right here. So when you bowl, you hit the cushion, which pushes this rod, which pushes this rod, which releases this enough to where Right here, it will release that mechanism. And then when the rake cycles, this will latch again, as right now is compressed. But watch when I cycle it. And when the machine cycles, it'll lock back into place again. There it goes, it just locked. And that's the height. pushes the rake up. See so it's riding that cam. Let me run it through a cycle and you can watch it ride the cam. Notice there's that one big lobe on the cam, which is where it's sitting right now when it's fully raised up. Then when you just hit the reset button, it rides the cam the whole time. It doesn't release the shotgun. It just rides the cam. Now there's a special groove on the cam. You see back in this area and right here, <coughs> So when the rake sweeps, it keeps the height riding at the proper height along the gutters. You center that thing up just before 180 degrees, you have the rake sweeps at one height coming back and it should sweep back just a little bit higher on the return sweep. So watch this again. Here comes the low part, hits the roller when it sweeps back, rides the roller there. See it from here, the rake hook, it misses, then it drops, catches, comes back and releases. 
So it has four passes and it only catches on the second pass, releases on the third pass, and then it's waiting for the next cycle. Let me run through again. Miss on one, drops for two, sweeps, releases on three, misses on four again. And then it drops down so it'll catch again to sweep on the next cycle. But that's the rig mechanism.